What is up my dashing dudes? I am the Hans TV, and I hope you're ready for some more choosers and some more beggars, because it's time to dive back in to r slash choosing beggars. This first post comes from Fictional Forest, 3.08 pounds per hour, and available on chat at all times. Full time experience content manager required, 37 and a half hours per week, about 115.38 pounds per week. I am looking for someone with experience in managing the content flow of a website. This includes creating content briefs, managing writers to ensure they understand your brief and produce top quality content, managing the content writers to ensure they always have work, managing the uploading process of the content using my developers, checking everything is uploaded correctly before publishing, skills you will need to have experience in to qualify for this job, people management. Time Management, Trello, Thrive Architect, Excellent Proofreading Ability, WordPress. You must speak UK English as your first language. There will be other ad hoc tasks apart from managing the content, such as checking products are in stock and updating review pages on a monthly basis. When you are applying, you must state your previous experience and be ready to back this up by talking to me through the process you followed on a call. Make the first line of your application read, Peanut Butter Jam is my thing. This way, I know you have fully read this brief and can pay attention to detail. You will not be considered if you don't. This position is for 37.5 hours per week, Monday to Friday, 9am to 5am, GMT, which includes a half an hour unpaid lunch. If you cannot work between these hours, you will not be hired. The payment is £115.38 per week, or £3.08 per hour, depending on which way you want to look at it. If you say you can work these hours and fail to do so, you will be sacked without warning. I expect you to be available on chat at all times should I wish to chat about anything. Once hired, you will be using the Upwork time tracking app. Only hours tracked through this can be paid. Finally, you must not be working for anyone else whilst working with my company. That's a lot of stupid requirements for a very stupid job that pays very stupidly low. This person is very stupid. Our next post comes from Fozzie the Mexican. She really wants him to change his dog's name. The dog came first. Hello? Hey, Janae, it's blank. I'm Blank's wife. We met at Colby and Blake's christening. Hi, yeah, I remember. It was a while ago now. How are you and your family? Good, thanks. I'm actually pregnant again, and that's why I'm messaging you. Oh, wow. Big congratulations to you and Blank. You must be so happy. I bet your new bub would be as beautiful as your four boys. Were you messaging me because you need a hand with cattle or something? Actually, new baby will be a bit different to the boys. It's a girl. That's amazing. She'll be so protected. As you know, I've got nieces and they're so much fun. So you're going to love it. Really stoked for you and Blank. Yeah, I don't need help with cattle and we're excited too. We want to name her Tilly, but it comes to my attention that you have a dog named Tilly and I'd appreciate you changing the dog's name, LOL. Obviously she can't have the same name as a dog or we're bound to bump into each other. Yeah, nah, I see. Hey mate, I don't think it's necessary to change my Tilly's name. I don't think you'll ever see her and I don't think anyone will notice they've got the same name anyway. I can't express how I feel right now. I'm so disappointed and let down in you, Janae. People say you're a nice person, but I can see that you have them tricked and you don't have children. You'll never understand how a mother can love and just want the best for this perfect little person. I'm honestly shocked you're being so heartless and unreasonable. You didn't even consider changing the animal's name for my daughter's future. This is going to impact her life and potentially ruin her confidence and life. Can you even imagine growing up having the same name as a mutt? You callously have put me in a terrible position. You are a piece of work and don't deserve your good family. You are ruining a baby's life. Think of what you're doing, Janae. Your inaction has a huge consequence. I'm not going to change Tilly's name, mate. Have a good one and congrats again. Hey. No. F*** you. This isn't over, Janae. I'll be talking to Shireen and Glenn about this. She'll be disgusting you just like I am. You're a disgrace. Please reconsider. I know about y'all, but I'd really, really be honored to be named after a puppo. Just saying. Our next post comes from Be Like Pepsi. Brother who refuses to work tries to emotionally blackmail me over Netflix subscription. Sorry, can't talk right now. Ooh, cut off the Netflix? I... Why? Paying for Swift instead. Which dat? 
Who at work? On the train. It's the game I cycle on. Pillock. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I'm on a train, son. Pay for Netflix. She's sending you the cash. No. Are you banned from Netflix or something? Just easier to keep this one than now. She will pay it anyway every month and who can use it? Well, it's not easier since I cancelled the account. I hardly ever used it. Cancel that and my Fight Pass subscription because Zwift is $14.99. Okay, here's your options. Option 1. Who get it back on no questions asked. Option 2. Who don't care about your niece and leave it off. Nephews. Option 2. Our next post comes from Too Lit to Die. What do I say to this? Like, how should I respond to this? Just for context, I'm selling my Zebon carbon fiber wing that was $600 new and is still in mint condition. I felt like I was pretty nice about it. Hey, do you still have the wing for the FRS? Yeah, I do. When do you want to pick it up? Can I pick it up tomorrow? Also, can you do 250? I can't, brother. Sorry, it was 600 new and I took really good care of it. Lois, I'll tell you what I can do. 350 if you want. I can't, man. Can you lower it to 250? Nah, sorry, man. I can't. Dude, f you, honestly. Why can't you help a fellow car enthusiast out? Like, W2F is your deal. Stop being a bitch and help me. Jesus, that took a turn really quickly. Hey, man. I understand the frustration, but if you can manage 300, it's all yours. WTF? Really? If you can lower it from 400 to 300, lower it to 250. Like, you honestly don't understand how to sell something, you f idiot. This next post comes from Zayplay. Choosing beggar wants free drawing from a professional artist ends up getting trolled. Can you draw me? Yeah, sure. My price starts at 150 pounds for an A4 11 inch by 8 inch black and white drawing. Free? Is it done yet? Sorry? All done. I couldn't see the top of your head in your photo, so I had to guess what it looked like. This next post comes from Seal Sky. Apparently, there are people out there willing to fly, fix it, people to their city. The delusion is real. Hi, blank. I'm new to the group and thought this might be the best place to reach out for some side work. I'm looking to make some extra cash for this summer and am great with most manual types of things. Plumbing, fixing cars, yard work, etc. If you need help with any fix-it kind of work, I'm your guy. I'm currently living in Nashville, Tennessee and have no plans to relocate. This being the case, I'd need you to cover my flights to and from Toronto as well as take care of my lodging while I'm there. Flights between the two cities are relatively cheap and I'm fine with whatever hotel you choose. Three star or above, please. No job is too big or too small, but if it's a case where I'd be there for multiple days, we would have to talk about reimbursement for Ubers from the hotel to wherever I'd be working. I'll cover my own food while I'm up there, so no worries there. Shoot me a DM if you need some work done. I'd love to help you out. So let me get this straight. Not only are you having to pay this guy for manual labor, you're also going to have to pay him for his flights to and from Nashville, Tennessee to Toronto, Canada, and pay for his hotels and reimburse his Ubers if he stays there for too long? Oh, but don't worry. He's going to pay for his food. Oh, and let's just say this. He says whatever hotel you choose, but then he says three star or above. That's not whatever I choose. That's whatever you choose, buddy. This next post comes from HXMZXI. Can you ask them to return theirs? Anyway, the food on the flight back is pretty much the only plain Jane food I've had the opportunity to eat in a fortnight, and I'm actually hungry for the first time in days. My girlfriend and I are sat three rows from the back and I'm dying for the trolley to get to us. When it does, the stewardess says they are out of two quarter sandwich options left. No problem. I ordered three sandwiches for my girlfriend and I to split. After about two minutes, the lady behind us starts raising her voice and complaining that they had run out of sandwiches and it was unfair. I totally agree. It was ridiculous and I'd be pissed too. However, she then stands up and looks over our seat, seeing the three Sarniers cue full on Karen mode. She's calling us greedy and selfish to our backs mind and then asks the stewardess to ask us to return two of our sandwiches. Karen, how can they have three and I can't have any? Ask them to return theirs. Stewardess, sir, sorry to ask, but could you please return a sandwich for a full refund? Me, well, we've already opened two and I honestly haven't eaten properly in days. Sorry. 
Karen. That's ridiculous. They are both young and don't need so much food. What about the rest of us? Um, we don't care about the rest of y'all, so f*** off. Our final post for the day comes from Gon's Nine Tree. Would you like me to pack you your school lunch as well? $1,600 car. $450 now. Lol. Pick it up right now, too. I'm just looking for a car for working college. I just got pat a lot of things off, and that's why I don't have much cash, but I was wondering if you can help me out. That's all I got. I just need car for school and work. Check out that violin on my page. Well, all right, my dashing dudes. That's going to do it for today's episode of r slash choosing beggars. I hope you liked what I did here. As always, the links to the stories will be down in the description below. If you liked what I did here, go ahead and drop a sub, a like, and leave a comment down below with what you'd like to see me read next. Also, a big thank you to everyone who has subbed so far in the past month-ish. I can't explain to y'all how grateful I am for y'all. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.